All right, what is up guys? It's Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Dado's garage for another episode with this Black Beauty, our Panigale FV4 SP. Gonna be doing the race filter and the ECU flash after the Terminioni exhaust install. So I'm really excited for this one. I hope you are too. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Christina, I need you to do the parts unboxing. If you're playing a video game I'm over here, I knew game. it. I knew it. I Look at her. Like She's addicted to these hours. damn games. Oh my, my god. Not. Don't lie to me. I worked all day. Did you? Day. Yeah? I what were you doing? Cream pies. She was sitting on cream pies today. That's what she did. Oh, she worked so hard. One. If you want to see yeah, that, where do they go if they want to see that? Only oh, fans. And I'm matching blue. Blue's only fans. Look at this woman. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Get over here. All right, it's not much of an unboxing today it's all right because, here. well, I mean, it was all in the box with the Which with the you exhaust. Could have left them in the box because then I could have. No, I put the it. stock exhaust in there. I took that to my and house. And then you could have just put them in a different box. Okay. Box. Listen, look at you. You're not the brains behind this operation, okay? For a reason. Filter. Yes. Sprint race filter. Brought to you by. That we're going to be doing today. Manny at Moto Million. Manny at Yes, that's correct. In the world, in the whole world. Go to motormillion.com. Mm -hmm. Use code CAMPEASY to save yourself Wow, look at you putting sentences together. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so hard. proud of it's you. Hard, I'm so stinking proud of you. But I can't open okay. packages. <laughs> Why are you even opening that? I want to I wanna touch it. Okay. <laughs> touch uh, the butt. <laughs> okay. There you go. There it is. Dado said that's, that's fine. Cool. He said that's fine. We well, can straighten, we can all straighten all that them all out. Yeah. But there it is. This is the highest flowing, safest uh, filter on the market. On the market. Sprint P0 <laughs> filter, we use it on all of our bikes. Um, this right here is Bell the Termi T800 up map. And what's really cool about this is you use this in tandem with this, which I believe is a Euro 5 connector, and you plug it into the ECU port, the OBD port under the seat, or maybe in the back of this. And that allows you to connect with your phone wirelessly via Bluetooth to this puck right here, which will stay on the bike, and you can flash the exhaust with this right here. Or I'm sorry, flash the ECU. How cool is that? We've used this for our monster. It worked flawlessly. So I believe Manny said he put two flashes on here. One is for the um, slip-on, one is for the slip-on, and one's for the full system. If we end up doing the full system, a lot of the patrons said they love how this exhaust looks and sounds as it is. So we're gonna wait and see um, how much power it puts down on the dyno and how it sounds after the flash. Where's my money, you owe me money. Oh, I'll, I'll get you, I promise. Thank you teens for your help, I appreciate it. Look at this, Dotto's over here mixing us drinks. Wow, what do we got here, bud? Um, some Tito's. Tito's? And black cherry and mango mix. This black one's yours. Black cherry icy black and mango? This one's yours. Right wow. Yes. When's the last time you mixed me a drink? I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Ever have. have. Yep. Mm -hmm. or, or, or fix me dinner. Made, made dinner for me. I've been getting Damn. messages and, and. I think Dotto has mixed me more drinks and made me more food than you have. Ever. Just in the past two months since I've been Ever. here. Yeah. In ever. I don't, I think <laughs> I don't take care of you. I have the boys. Wow. What were you going to say? Uh, I've had a lot of people message me with either holding drinks or like cheating Yeah, us, yeah. You know? I love it. They sit at home, they say they... Speaking of which... The videos, they feel hey. like they're... At, hey. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Let's get to work. Oh, Cheers there it is. Cheers. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? I do make you dessert. You don't... You buy dessert. No, I make you dessert. Cream pies. Chocolate. Okay, I'll give you... Cream pies! <laughs> All right, so before we get started with the sprint filter today, um, I just want to mention one thing like more about this exhaust so for twenty seven hundred dollars you get this slip-on titanium exhaust system um it does remove the cat and obviously it has mufflers but the big ass muffler that's there so it's way less restrictive suppose it saves just under 10 pounds and termi says it adds 10 horsepower and you get the up map and you get the race filter so for twenty seven hundred dollars let's just say 10 pounds of weight savings 10 horsepower, looks incredible, sounds incredible. Now, if you step up from this, you gotta buy a full system. Any full system you buy is gonna be $5,000 and up, all the way up to like 10 grand, right? Those full systems might save you another one to three pounds, I would guess, and maybe add another two to three horsepower. Think about that. 
So, and here's the best part about this exhaust. It took us about two and a half hours to install this and that was with not really knowing how to do it. You could probably, after watching our video now, you could probably get this and install it, I would say within two hours, I think. That's pretty insane. This will work for all V4 models, including the Street Fighter. If I was gonna buy, if this was my bike and I was keeping this bike, that's the exhaust right there I'd put on it. Period. Dotto, do you agree? I came out here earlier today, you know, to set up the shop before they came over. If I own this motorcycle, any V4S, yep. V4, whatever, this would be the exhaust. This identical exhaust, yep. the slip on, that's exactly what I would do. Looks Seriously. incredible. Yeah, it looks it's incredible. It's amazing. It sounds, yeah, it's, I think, to be honest, I think the full exhaust, like replacing the pipes that we didn't do, you may get a little bit of different uh, heat dissipation with titanium. Yeah. But true. other than that, that's it. I yep. don't think you get any different flow. I don't think it's any different size from the manifold out. No. Nope. I think the biggest, what we replaced, yeah. is the biggest difference yep. that you're going to see in performance. I agree. So that's just personal opinion. Looks wise, it's phenomenal. I, I, I told Jared, I'm like, I, why are we even touching this? Yep. I agree. Yeah. So this will actually be our first time seeing the exhaust on the ground too, because we've had it up in the air, which obviously, usually having stuff up in the air makes it look worse, if you can believe that. Um, so this will be cool to see it on the ground. And then the reason we're putting it on the ground, like I said, is we're, we want to be able to turn the handlebars to try and get to the air filter as easily as we can, because the up map will take some time. Look at that. I just, I, I can't get over how freaking cool that, there, there it is right there, dude. That's the angle. Look at that, dude. It looks like it was built for this bike, doesn't it? Like it fits that, so nice. It's just so freaking cool, man. That is so epic. I love the matte black, dude. I, I just, I, I can't believe it. When are we gonna ride? Uh, after we do this. <laughs> that could be the next video. <laughs> Us taking it out for a ride, you know? And then we'll put it on the dyno. Cause I would like to ride it a little bit to let the ECU adaptive learning and everything after we flash it. So yeah, that's yeah. what. That. We might be able to get to this without. Wow. That might. No way. Really? You yeah. think we'll be able to? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, let's try it. Lose? Yeah, and then worst case scenario, we take the side panel off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get to the air filter, which is right in here. And uh, we'll see if it's just these two bolts right there. And then this thing accordions back. And then maybe we'll be able to get the air filter out without taking anything off, which would be a first ever for a Ducati. All right, so while Dotto and I were sitting here talking about plans for the build, he just goes, hey, bro, I got this thing open. Yeah. Is, that as, is that as wide as it goes? Um, I'm pretty sure it just okay, opens I like see. that, yeah. and then a filter just sits right here. That's crazy. And this is a paper filter in here. Is it really? Yeah, it looks so like So this it. is going to be a lot of airflow. My sausage fingers do so not So you comply. definitely want to do filters when you do exhaust, because if you're sending more air out, you want to bring more air in, and Not right? only that, but... In a flash. Yeah. All right. I me... could probably get in there, or teens could. Hold let this. me Let me help you. So I just remembered that... Um, I believe this clamps down onto the edge of the filter, so we're gonna loosen this side as well, and then that should allow us to pull it out on the other side. I believe that's how it works. Jared knows all about pulling out. <laughs> that's why I don't have kids running around. All right, so uh, we were right. That allowed us to get in there and pull that puppy out. Now that's a straight on paper. Ooh. Isn't that crazy that that's what they ship these with? A shitty ass paper filter. I, I'm surprised Geppetto didn't put Loctite on that. That's what it smells like. Smell it. it. Smells like Loctite. Oh, God. Remember when your Loctite exploded in my face? All over. <laughs> and I'm not talking about here in the garage. <laughs> oh! Alright, so we wanted to try and demonstrate the difference between these filters. Look at that. Look at the amount of light that comes through. That one. The, the Sprint filter is almost completely see-through, but it just filters enough particles to not be dangerous to your motor. I think it flows like 50% more. I can't remember. There's an article on Moto Millions website if you guys want to go over and read um, by people who are much more intelligent than I am. All I know is this flows more air and that's all that I so care about. So we can about. do a test. Teens can blow through this one and then through this one. Should we do that? See how. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for OnlyFans. <laughs> is there a direction that this has to go in? Is that what you're looking at? No, I don't. Is think, it exactly the same? I don't believe that there's a direction. Uh huh. I do believe that it goes in like this though. Okay. See this, this part that seals? Dotto's sausage fingers are telling him stuff. It's They this speak is, to him. This section that faces the mm -hmm. air box mm -hmm. is where it seals. It's more squared off. This is just tapered. Oh, okay. So, that makes sense. We're going to shove right Let's in there. Let's shove her on in there. This is kind of hard to show. Shove her and on. And pretty boring. 
So, it's boring, but it's my life. I don't know if you heard, I did over a thousand. Yeah, he's just gonna shove it in there. That's basically Be very careful not to jack up the filter screen. Now, I'm gonna put it in partially, like this. And then go and to the then, other side? Yeah, go to the other side and kind of finagle okay, it in there. that's a good idea. I love this. Look at that. Triple tree. Hanagale V4SP, number 223. Someone is gonna own this bike. How crazy is that? A limited edition Hanagale V4SP. You know, if you guys wanna support these episodes, patreon.com slash Customs. that's how you get entered. The only yeah. exciting part about you guys moving from PA mm -hmm. and me not working on these bikes is being excited about winning these bikes. Because <laughs> you were signed up. <laughs> and now it's like, it's like shit. People would've lost their shit though if you would've won one of those. It's rigged. Uh -huh. He gave it to him. Uh huh. You know? People have been telling me to buy you a Diablo. Dado. Yeah. yeah. You should listen to people. Right? <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. That's <laughs> hey, in. We That's in? Put the bolts in. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Dado just finished tightening down the bolts here on the filter. That's amazing how, how simple that was. I mean, it's not. It's not easy, but it is like not a lot to take apart, which is really nice. Um, next, I think we're gonna remove the seat and the plug should be under here that we need to piggyback on. And then we can start the Termi T800 up map flash. Just two bolts, or two, yeah, bolts. Yeah, two bolts. Perfect. Allens, fours I believe? Allen. Four Allens, are they the same ones? Holy shit. Yes, they are. Wow. Four ones are the same thing. I'm um, shocked. Number four. Number four Allen. Let's see here. I can probably should slide just... back yeah, there and then out. And then the plug should be right here. So plug's right there. So we can fit the puck like right in, probably right in here, huh? Yeah, wherever there's room. If it fits. Yeah, Sweet. Speaking of, there is no room, but. I know. What you have to do is let it dangle while you ride. <laughs> I, was just, I, was, I was just telling teens, cause she plugged this into the thing, but she didn't plug it in all the way. And I was like, shit teens, you just broke this. She started freaking out. Look at her. She's like, I don't have time for this. I'm playing my game, Jarrett. <laughs> What are you doing? Looking for thongs. Looking for thongs. Okay. Onlyfans.com. That's Christina Khalil. I'm looking for prongs. Prongs? Prongs yeah. and thongs. So, little cover comes off. Yep. You plug in this little puck. Mm -hmm. The green light, when it's, it, when it's on, it means you can start doing wheelies. Perfect. So we're just gonna put that right there. Now I need to open up the app on my phone. Okay, so we have the up map connected. Um, now, since I already have this app, this is the important part. I had to talk to Manny about this. You go to Helmet, you go to Devices, and you click this plus sign up here. That's what we couldn't figure out. And then this is how you connect your device. Then you go through all of these. Basically, this is the same setup you guys have seen us do on the Monster. But if you already have one set up, say this is your second bike, then it's a little bit more confusing to find this menu. So that's how you do it. You go into the helmet section, devices, pl click that plus sign. Now we're gonna run through all of this. I'll show you anything that's interesting once we get to it. All right, so we just went through the same process that we did before. We searched for the device. It found the T800 device. Founded devices, that's funny, founded devices. So we just click on it and then it connects to it, perfect. Now it goes blue. It was green, so Manny was right. You're not, you're not colorblind, bud. <laughs> now it's blue. Now we hit configure, and we let it do whatever it's gonna do, and we'll let you know what happens, because we got some time here. All right, in the meantime, Dotto grabs some cheese for us, and what do we have here, Dotto? Some smoked and aged extra sharp cheddar. Oh my god. It's my favorite, by the way. Oh my, you know what we need with this? Some whiskey. Yes, we do. Okay, let's find some. All right, going with the Obin 14 aged Scotch malt whiskey on some ice. Look at that. This is amazing. Perfect way to kill a few minutes while we're waiting for that to up map, upload. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Uh huh. All right, so we just went through that process. It's selecting this one right here for us. We're going to accept that. Maybe we have to click it. Yep, we yeah, do. It's based on a VIN, I think. Yeah. Configure. Let's see, model identified. Yep, mm -hmm. model paired, let's confirm that. Model paired, let's end configuration. Step okay. done. Now we have to go into the store and choose the map. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're in the store here. We got a couple of different options. Gotta be careful here because we want the Terminioni racing slip-on, but one says with DB Killer and one doesn't say that. We want the one that doesn't say that because we took the DB killers out. And then once we click on this, we gotta probably figure out 
how to not pay for this. So let me go off camera here. All right, we got the map. Now it's asking us if we wanna reprogram the ECU with that map and we absolutely wanna do that. So let's see, make sure you have up map cable device, active internet, Bluetooth on, dashboard on, everything's good. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Now it's probably gonna have a, yeah, loading bar, 1%, which means now it's blinking blue, which is good. Uh, I think we need more meats and cheeses. This cheddar, oh my, oh, you wanna show that, Dado? Someone just sent over a picture of him watching our latest video. Yeah. With some nice. Dabber brother. Yeah. So. Look at that. He showed a video of him watching, and uh -huh. then he's got a meat and cheese Dude, tray. he's got a legit charcuterie pl plate going there. That's it, we're flying you out, brother. Yeah, shout gonna, out to you, you you're, brother. You're, you're gonna feed us. Damn, nice, I love it. Okay, we're gonna let this do its thing. We're gonna eat some more uh, cheese and have some more whiskey, and then we'll come back when this is flashed, hopefully. All right, in the meantime, Dado pulled out some more smoked cheese. What do we got here, Dado? Um, I believe this is aged smoked provolone. Oh, that's one of my favorite. So wait, this is Proby, not Motsi? Yeah, that's correct, it's oh. provolone. God, that looks incredible. I gotta try a piece of this. Let me try, let me try a little slice of this guy right here. A little slice of this Proby heaven. Proby's my favorite. I don't know why, but it just is. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I could eat this whole wheel of cheese right now. That's my favorite, dude. Really? It's just smooth. I don't even just keep eating it, you know? It's so smoky. It's, oh my god. You know what? We need some like spicy mustard or something with this. How good would that be? You got some. Of course you fucking do. <laughs> All right, it says procedure completed successfully. I'm gonna hit end. Uh, okay. Does that mean it's remapped? The bike's remapped? I don't, oh, it definitely is remapped. You wanna know how, I, how we know? It says kilometers, 826 kilometers. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this off, turn it back on, see if it says anything. So just to make sure, I went back to the user progress menu and we followed all of the steps and it says put your helmet on and get going. So I think we're all good to go. There you see our, our uh, Panigale model, maps installed and I'm very excited. I'm gonna change this out back to um, English units and then we'll turn this off and back on and see what it says. Let's turn this off. I wanna see if it says like, turn me up map or anything like that, you know? Let's see. There it is, Racing Pro, perfect. That's how you know it's flashed. Boom, all right, do you wanna start this thing up? Yeah. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna let you do the honors, Dotto. Fluttering this time, boom, boom, boom. That's why I didn't want to rev it a lot in the last video. Holy God, that sounds fucking phenomenal. What are you looking at, bud? Dude, dry clutch. A dry clutch with a Termi exhaust is quintessential Ducati, you know? Warming up, I just want to walk around it so you guys can hear what it sounds like from different positions. I love this exhaust, dude. It looks so freaking badass. Look at this bike, man. All right, Dotto. So guys, I'm not kidding. Yesterday, I revved this bike before we had this flash on here. Number one, after I revved it, it felt like it wanted to shut off because it probably wasn't getting enough fuel. Is that the reason, Dotto? 
Yeah, it, the fueling, the stock fueling doesn't even at idle. Yeah, is it, not is not good. Set up for a filter, right? For breathing properly and a hole, and getting rid of the cat and the yeah. mufflers and all that. Yeah. So um, this time, like I could actually, and this might sound crazy, I could actually feel the restrictions in the throttle yesterday, even with the slip on, when I twisted it. Now, when I twist it, it's like it just feels like it's flowing freer. Instant, like, boom, it's freer, bro. right? <laughs> it's it feels like America now. This Italian machine feels like America. So, Dotto already went straight to work finding a nice home for the Termi up map system. And what are we thinking here, Dotto? Um, I think I can get it in here uh -huh. because that's going to be the best place for it. Yeah, where's well, I do be have a piece around. of foam I'm, I plan on putting here because okay. plastic. Rattling on, on plastic. plastic is a bad thing yeah. for electronics, mm -hmm. so we'll get a little piece of foam on here, uh -huh. get her nice and tucked in right up in here somewhere, uh -huh. either there or here. This seems like it fits really nice here. Oh yeah, that would so work. So we'll get this tucked up like that maybe. Put some um, foam under it. Yeah, make sure that it's it's nice, it doesn't uh -huh. rattle. And we'll put the seat on. Yeah, we'll put the seat back on and do some oh, wheelies. Oh yes. So Dotto goes over here to grab a cutter for his foam. Look at how many cutters slash pliers like that's ridiculous and he just opens it pull grabs one uses it and closes it i was like whoa 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 pull that back up <laughs> that's ridiculous don't judge okay Got a piece of foam really yeah nice piece of foam. perfect i'm gonna put it on there and we're done put the seat back on push it yeah. out so take some photos i'm gonna put that guy right there yeah that's smart that's feel smart. that that's really nice you know what this is from the batteries. Yeah. The Shirai batteries. The Shirai batteries, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's okay. much better, right? All right. That's much, that's nice. much better. Look at that. So that should sit in there. That makes me so happy. Now we can throw the seat back on it. Yep. So seat slides in. There's a couple of things in the front there. Boom. Reattach the uh, bolts right here. The four Allens. Allen. Two. Allen, Allen for you. Dotto was just staring at the sky over here. Look at this. Insane. We actually do get some insane sunsets slash clouds and stuff like that. You said when the, four hours. When two hours. storm. No, four was the size, you dick. Yeah, not so funny now. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if Christina approves of this. She's going to start it up for us. She's our designated rever, right? Oh, yeah. You see how it said? You didn't even notice it, what it said. Now we got to redo it. <laughs> Did not. Because of your action. I got distracted. Yeah, because of your action. Oh, me. So Acro says racing Evo. This one says racing pro. Oh my god. If you didn't tell me that's what to look at, I would not have seen that. <laughs> he would have never, never noticed it. He would have never noticed it. They'll never know. Alright, start it up for us, babe. Yeah. Dude, the sky's pink back there. Holy shit. Look at that. Look at the camera. So that's going to do it for this episode. We got the Sprint Racing Filter installed. We got the Termi T800 up map with the uh, Termi slip-on racing exhaust without the D DB Killer map installed. The manager's over there yelling at us, Dozy! Um, it looks incredible. This is the first time we had it outside on the ground and it just looks so let me take it for a quick spin. Yeah, seriously, I want to. That'll be the next episode, right? I think we take this out for a spin, and then we'll put it on the dyno. And then I, I, I got to get my dad to ride it too. Yeah, okay. dude. I, honestly, I cannot believe how different the throttle feels after that map. I'm so happy for this. So, huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million for recommending this slip on. Um, I thought he was, I was like, no way I'm putting that on the bike, and I absolutely love it. All of us do. All of us love it. It looks incredible. All the patrons love it. Dozer loves it. Yeah, Dozer loves it. Look at him. You can't stop talking about it. Dude, oh my God. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to support this project on Patreon. Be entered to win this limited edition Ducati Panigale V4 SP. It's going to be over 50, 60 grand when we're done with it. We have lots more mods to come. You'll also be entered to win our Monster 1200, which we're still going to do some really cool stuff too. And I think that's it. 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Dotto, thank you for your hard work as always. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.